Hey everyone, Rarity Dash here, time for another blind commentary. And today I'm looking at another episode of Scooter Tricks the Bridged, episode 24. And uh, yeah, pretty excited. Uh, it's been a bit since the last Scooter Tricks, and uh, it was a pretty good episode, if I recall, the last one. A lot more, like, custom stuff in it, and uh, something of a reveal with Applejack, and uh, just a lot of cool stuff. And uh, this one, again, took a fair bit of time to make, so maybe we'll have more of that stuff, though I don't know. Uh, it's the it's episode 24, so it should be based on the Owl episode, which, of course, not really one of the most memorable episodes of the first season. In fact, it's kind of one of the more mediocre ones, really. But, uh, that, yeah, that doesn't mean... Something excellent can't be done with it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, and here we go. Disclaimer. And treehouse. Hey, Twy, I'm gonna go to the store and get some punch for the party. Oh. To Whoa. I already got the, the owl. owl. Come from who? The owl. Who? The owl. <laughs> Why do you have an owl, Twy? Isn't he neat? I got him to keep up with all the young people. Uh, what? Owls are a real hoot, you know? Wait, hang wow. on. Wow. Uh, oh, yeah, no one's laughing. No, really, I'm telling you, Spike. <laughs> wait, wait, did, did, did oh, you God. Just, did, did you spend all night coming up with owl puns or something? He probably owl did. Night. Why? What? God, you're so lame. If I hear one more owl pun, I'm going to punch you in your face. Oh, well, I feather stopped then, shouldn't I? Oh. Wow. Well, strong start. Gotta love really terrible puns. <laughs> Scooter Tricks the Bridged. Here we go. And these two. Luna, it's war. But you can't announce your imminent meteor bombardment of Sombra's armies as, and I quote, a once-in-a-lifetime celestial dance spectacular? But Luna, it is once-in-a-lifetime. Well, their lifetimes, not our lifetimes. This is wow. sick. I know. Not that kind of sick. On the phone, <laughs> it says a treat for the whole family? Oh, yeah. Fun for all ages. The kittens are gonna love it. Celestia. Wow. Luna. A meteor shower onto Sombra zombies is the only way to stop them. The advertising campaign was just to keep ponies calm when they see massive balls of exploding ice plummeting down towards the north. Plus, I made table money off the deal. You sold tickets? Wow. At cost, at cost. Virtually. To a bombardment? You sold tickets to the incineration of over 100,000 creatures? Luna, it's not like they're changelings. They're zombies. By definition, they're already dead. Makes I'm sense. I'm just throwing them this courtesy cremation. Yeah, I, I should be charging them. What will your <laughs> subjects say? My subjects will be nowhere near the impact Celestia's zones. is great. They'll just see pretty, twinkling, falling stars ah. right for making wishes on. Yeah. Oh, darn it. I should have used that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on. It was a little funny. Uh, it was a little pathetic. Is, is that the only reason you bought an owl? <laughs> no. Wow, this is just... I'm telling everyone about this tonight. Oh, no. You don't, you don't, you don't need to do that. I'm doing it. No. Uh, Spike? Yeah. I think Good job splicing it, uh, uh, footage from oh, two different good. episodes. Give him a couple more minutes then. Spike? You better not destroy the oven again. You remember the last time with Berry Punch? You know how that went down? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Berry Punch. Berry Punch coming to this thing. Still referencing no, that. <laughs> never again. Oh, come on, Twy. It was only once. Uh, wrong. It was four times. And on top of the oven, the bathroom window is still broken. I don't know when the store will have straws in stock again. And Ponyville made it to the cover of Poor Choices Monthly, which wow. I didn't even know was a magazine until it was a bear bear with the award. Uh, I love that pony. Now she's a real hoot. Shut up. But yeah, yeah, I got it. And then I said to him, ultra fast? More like ultra not fast. Uh, yeah, Good wow. job. Wow, that, I, uh... Fantabulous, Fluttershy. So, um, <laughs> cool party. Twilight. I'm sure hey, Wakar yeah, appreciates I that. I have one for the star shower thing tonight. It's supposed to be this once in a lifetime celestial dance spectacular. Hey, Rarity, guess what Twilight did last night? Oh, no. She spent 40 bits on an owl 
just to make owl puns. It wasn't 40 bits. You spent 40 bits on an owl just to make owl puns? No. She totally did. It was cringy as hell. <laughs> <I> didn't <know. laughs> You really did, didn't you? No, I didn't. Oh, no, that's right. I'm sorry. Y you got one to keep up with all the young people. Whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. Well, What is that supposed example. to mean? Let's say we have a guy. Let's call him Derped Chaos 411 He goes to the... Uh, wait a minute. What? Why is he called Derped Chaos 411 It was the first name that came to my head. Why? That was the first name that came into your head? Derped Chaos 411 <laughs> I don't know. Yes. Uh, why? Th that's like thinking of a name like King Cocoon or something. Um, I knew a King Cocoon once. What, you oh. knew well, you a are King Cocoon? Changeling. Yeah, um, they live down the street. But I just made that up yeah. just now. Well, well, I knew one. That's nothing, it man. It sounds like I a changeling name. When I was in flight school. Ah, well, I mean, that's, that's just kind of that like... Weird, I mean, I, I guess it kind of sounds like a buffalo name. That is not a buffalo name. Well, I mean, that was just his nickname, man. His real name was Ross Pitt Shark Hunter. Ross Pitt Shark Hunter? Uh, well, 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 why didn't you just say that? I don't know. We always just called him Appanex, man. Appanex. What, we're talking about bizarre names. Oh, really, <laughs> Twy? You're going to go after how ridiculous a name sounds? What? What's your name, Twy? Twilight. Twilight Sparkle. Yeah. So? Oh, so Ross Pitt Shark Hunter is weird, but Twilight Sparkle isn't? Well, I mean, maybe not to a dragon, but... Just today, <laughs> I ran into a stallion named Business Savvy. His first name was literally Business, as in that's what his parents named him. I... Okay, let's just drop it. Hey, Spike. Good idea. Did you make their cookies? They're gorgeous. Yeah, I made everything. Really? Damn, you really are a good cook. Uh... Thanks. Oh, yeah, um, I was gonna say, um, the spaghetti noodles taste wow. just like home. Okay, going back know, to that. I'm gonna try the spaghetti noodles. <gasps> You're gonna try the, um, the spaghetti noodles? <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Hang on, let me go get it. Uh, let me go get she it. hasn't done that in a while, so I kind hey, of appreciate can I, it. Can I talk to you for a second outside, please? Uh, yeah, All right, sure. All right, here I go. Oh. oh. What's up? Twilight, something's wrong. What? I don't know what it is, but something doesn't feel right. Do you feel sick, or...? No, no, it's... I felt a disturbance in the fourth. Ah. So, AJ, <laughs> you want the recipe? <laughs> sure. Say, how'd you get to be such a good cook, anyway? It's been a passion of mine since I was a kid. A kid? Aren't you like a baby dragon or something? Yeah. Dude, dragons have really, really long lifespans. I'm literally older than you. What? No way. How old are you? 27. Damn. Well, for a baby, you sure are a good cook. Thanks. I'm glad some people like it. Um, what do you mean? Well, uh, well back home, they'd uh, make fun of me. Because hmm. baking isn't considered very dragon-like. Oh, Spike. What? I didn't know that. Well, I... Man, I it's not a big deal. Oh, little Spike. No, you're you're just a big softy, aren't you? Jesus Aww. Christ, why are you treating me like a kid? Because you are one, Spike. Don't worry, we love okay, you. Okay, that's that's enough out of you two. Well, did you check the script? That's just it. I can't find anything wrong. We have a fun time at the party, watch the meteor shower, and that's it. Then credits. Well, maybe it was a mistake. But I can feel it, Twilight. I can feel it. It feels like, it feels like something really bad is about to happen. Well, well what can we do to help? I don't, I don't know. Okay, okay. All right, look, look, Pinky, Pinky. What? We are the elements of harmony. Mm -hmm. Okay? We live in the heart of the most powerful empire in the world, under the most powerful being in the world. If something bad does happen, we're together. Yeah. We'll act. As a wise pony once said, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. Okay? I guess so. We've got your back, Pinky. Thanks. Hmm. Well, that's uh, building up to something. That's pretty clear. You see that, Pinky? The sky's filled with lovely floating sparkles. Yes. Right for making wishes on. Innocent sparkles. How do you feel now? Not killing any zombies. I don't know. Well, sometimes things turn out all right. Yeah. I guess so. Oh. Well, this is ending a bit early, so there's gonna be something after these credits. Oh, and they're skipping. 
That's a bit... Bit ominous. Okay. <gasps> what oh. the hell? There's an after credit scene? <laughs> <laughs> but there's never an after credit scene. This is a good... Hello. Good scene to use for spookiness. Who's there? You're so small. So fragile. So poorly written. Uh. Oh, hello there. I'm glad you stayed past the credits. We're going to have so much fun. Who are you? Show yourself! Hmm. It's not very smart, is it? Pinky. Why ask who I am when you can just look at the script and find out? Yeah, that's... <gasps> I, I can't! I can't see the script! <laughs> oh no. I know. Oh, oh, oh wow! Uh... Well, that's quite a note to end off on. That's, uh... Definitely setting some interesting stuff up for next time. Oh, which next time is Party of One. Oh, what is he gonna... Oh, wow. I just... Okay. So we're gonna do something really crazy with all that Pinkie Pie, Pinkie Pie stuff. The whole, uh... Yeah. I just thought about that. That... Something very interesting is going to happen with Pinkie Pie next time, and uh, I'm very eager to find out what. Uh, that was a genuinely pretty spooky ending. Uh, other than that, I liked. I, I really liked the episode. It was really relaxing, and uh, it, it definitely felt like a calm before whatever we have in these last couple episodes. Uh, It, uh, yeah, it was nice. I mean, we even had throwbacks to, like, the first episode and references and all that good stuff. And, uh, we opened up with some stupid owl jokes and <laughs> that's nice. It was all, all really pretty fun. Uh, I, uh, and well made. I mean, there was lots of, uh, creative editing, lots of different episodes we used. Uh, and it felt cohesive. It felt like it all went together. Uh, and of course, that ending, that was really well done, too. That ending there was pretty perfect. And it, it really captured the effect that they were going for, I think. And uh, yeah, just overall, really great. Uh, very... Very impressed with this episode and very excited for the next one. It really succeeded in doing that. And I <laughs> can't wait to see what this is, in fact, setting up. Because it could be, could be pretty interesting. Anyway, hope you liked the reaction. Let me know if you did. And see you in the next one.